moving on from that let's talk about this because this has been all over the timeline and i think this is a pretty cool thing that elon's doing so elon musk has declared a war basically on verifications on twitter and he's decided on all days on april 4th which again he's got a thing for dates and timing or whatnot he's going to kill all legacy blue check marks what does that mean so anybody that got a verified um blue tick on twitter um before elon took over and usually those were handed over to people who were notable people celebrity people that were in the news to sort of differentiate them between you know regular guys or gals who are trying to impersonate them all those legacy accounts will be completely nuked and if you want to verify to tick next to your name you're gonna to have to buy basically purchase twitter blue there'll be no more legacy um, ticks at all going forward and i personally think this is a good thing because for whatever reason i feel that t twitter's um blue check mark was like a weird flexing i'm better than you type of thing which is odd because i don't think you get on any other platform even a platform like instagram i don't think instagram it feels like somebody's got a blue check mark that they kind of flex it on you and like they're better it's usually just you know reserved for notable people or people that have been in the news or whatnot to differentiate them between again trial accounts but it's not actually used as like i'm better than you than something so i think a lot of the journalists out there who are using a Twitter blue check mark um, to kind of flex on people are going to be crying. A lot of the celebrities that use the check mark again as validation are also going to be crying. So it's going to be funny to see how it kind of plays out. So it's courtesy of TechCrunch. It says Twitter has picked April Fool's Day, otherwise known as April 1st, to start removing the legacy blue check mark from accounts um, that had them on the platform. Despite the significance of the day Twitter has chosen, the move has been anticipated for months to now. Months, uh, Musk tweeted in December that the company would remove those checks in a few months because it, that way, which, no, the way that which they were given that was corrupt and nonsensical. Um, because yeah there was a report or i think elon basically re revealed that some people were paying for them some of them were giving out to friends especially if they were like politically and ideologically kind of aligned and whatnot so it kind of got a little bit murky so now it's kind of clearing the decks and obviously increasing the amounts of people that are also going to be subscribing to twitter blue which may be helping which could in the end help you know um, twitter to make more money and maybe rise its valuation you never know so it goes since then people with legacy blue check marks have been seeing a pop-up when they click on a check mark that reads this legacy verified account it may or may not be notable on april 1st we'll begin to winding down legacy verified to keep a blue check mark twitter individuals can sign up for twitter blue here uh, before musk acquired twitter, uh, the company twitter used check marks to verify individuals and entities in as an active and authentic and notable accounts of interest verified check marks were doled out for free um, today twitter users can purchase a blue check mark through the twitter blue subscription for eight dollars per month ios android user signups will cost eleven dollars per month due to app store cost um, but there are also other check mark colors and badges available for purchase to denote whether an account belongs to a business a government for example twitter says the purchase of a check mark users gives users access to subscriber only features like fewer ads on their timeline prioritize ranking and conversations bookmark folders and ability to craft long tweets edit tweets and undo tweets the news comes just on the hours of twitter's maybe description available globally so this is definitely a thing that's going to be popping and people are going to be upset about and then of course you've got um another update again regarding this which it says elon musk says twitter for you page will only be recommended verified accounts because you know the, the page is basically split up um on your timeline and this is courtesy of flipping the verge it says twitter users will need a verified account to get recommended platforms for you page um, starting on april 15th i'm um, giving out twitter promise to start the dismantling the legacy verify system at the beginning of april that appears to mean that you will have to have a uh, you have to be a company government entity or twitter blue subscriber if you want to pop into the feed of people you don't follow you must clarify on tuesday that accounts you already follow will show up in the for you too since you've explicitly asked for them um, must claims a move is the only realistic way to address advanced ai bot swarms taking over verified users also going to become only accounts that can vote in polls for the same reason must says which is pretty crazy if you want to take part in the poll you have to buy a badge you have to buy a tick hilarious um it's worth um taking this announcement 
with a grain of salt as must tweets aren't usually turned into enforced policy or features perhaps the biggest example of the promise in february that the company was going to start sharing ad revenue with subscribers um that's still in my aim most two months later the same month the, the, okay cool basically you know the verge are hating but essentially we're gonna see that kind of doled out and i personally don't think it's a bad thing i'm all for twitter subscription and paying for verified checks and stuff if you want them i think those features should be opened up to more people to check out like for instance once instagram introduces flipping paid for verification i'm gonna get it simply because i want to be able to share my links via instagram stories because anything i really use i don't really post on my main feed that often but i would like to be able to share a link to something i'm making something i've checked out that's cool and be able to just share it via the instagram stories with a link but at the moment that's only that's only um for people that have verified tick or that have over ten thousand followers you get that feature opened up but if twitter could or if twitter or instagram typically could open up other features and let you kind of use them if you bought her afraid i'd definitely sign up for it it definitely make that kind of stuff worthwhile as a sort of like a content management or sharing sort of tool in that regard but i guess for regular people who don't give a crap about content and just want to enjoy what they see on social media i'm gonna be honest it's probably gonna be annoying um because you know what's gonna happen down the line is that they're gonna throw the service for people that don't have verified um accounts they're gonna remove some things that people enjoy to basically put you in a corner where you basically have no other option but to be verified that's what they basically want they want to turn the entire internet into a place where you know most people are verified um you know identity and whatnot so that you know you can take away all the bots and all the ai and whatnot coming in and destroying things but let's see how that plays out i'm not really too bothered about it personally and i do think it's good to see some of these legacy um blue checkmark people who kind of had life very very sweet um kind of you know basically throw their toys out of the pram and get annoyed at this because i feel like in general they all needed to kind of be put i think in their place a little bit in my opinion i think so i think so i think so i think so but again what do i know what do i know 